Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. So in the continuation of our Hadoop tutorial, uh, in the second video today, we'll discuss uh, the architecture of Hadoop distributed file system. So as we discussed in the introductory video about what is Hadoop, uh, Hadoop is a collection of software utilities that facilitates big data processing and storage. And this is done on the cluster of nodes, where nodes are simple commodity hardware, uh, and the entire computation happens in the distributed way. So there are two uh, major components in the Hadoop world. One is the distributed storage, which is known as HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System. And uh, another one is the data processing paradigm, which is map produced in the Hadoop world. So today in this particular video, we'll look about the internals of uh, Hadoop distributed file system and what is the architecture of HDFS. If you see this picture, uh, this is a picture which we discussed in the first video as well. So here you see the entire topology of uh, HDFS is master slave. So these master slaves are called name nodes and all these slaves are called data nodes. So this is how the entire uh, master slave architecture of uh, HDFS looks like. Let's discuss in detail. So uh, HDFS exposes file system which allows user to store data in the form of files. And these files internally are split into blocks. Uh, and these blocks are distributed across different nodes in the cluster, primarily onto all the slave nodes in the cluster. So uh, in, in, if you try to define the, uh, the architecture line of HDFS, it's a block structure file system. That means every file which you try to store on HDFS will be split into number of blocks and all these blocks would be stored on the different nodes in the cluster. So all the data storage actually happens on the slave nodes and uh, these data would actually be residing onto these slave nodes in the system. So as we have discussed that HDFS is, has got a master slave topology and master, master node in the system is called name node. So name node is the master node and it stores the metadata of the data blocks which are actually stored on the slave nodes. So all the data which you uh, try to save into an HDFS is split into different blocks. And now these blocks are stored on different nodes, different machines in the cluster. Now the information about like which block is stored on which machine and uh, it belongs to which file, all that metadata information is kept and stored with name node. So name node is the master of the system. And the slave nodes where the actual data blocks uh, splitted data pieces are stored that those nodes are called data nodes. So this is uh, these are the two uh, software uh, demons or software processes that uh, runs in the HDFS world. Uh, one is meant to do the uh, you know bookkeeping or record keeping in the form of storing the metadata, and the second node. Uh, which is the data node that is a node which actually stores the data right so let's try to understand from uh, this picture so if you see here there is one name node which contains the metadata uh, metadata includes the things like the name of the file uh, where are the different uh, replicas of that data stored what is the actual uh, data piece uh, what is the sequence of the data piece and all that information about the data blocks is kept with name node and the actual data is kept on all these uh, different data nodes. If you see these are the data nodes and here if you say these are the splitted pieces of the data which you stored in the HDFS and then there's a process of replication happening because uh, HDFS keeps three replicas of each data block to handle the fault tolerant. We'll discuss that in uh, that in detail later. But if you see the, the, the client is trying to write to the data nodes uh, and the entire uh, 
uh, once the write is done with the data node all the metadata information is updated on the name node similarly when client tries to read from the data node the actual data then also the metadata operation is facilitated through the name node so name node is the one which is keeping the which is doing the entire bookkeeping of the hdfs system so let's discuss what are the different features and functionalities of name node in the hdfs world is the master process or the master daemon uh, it maintains and manages all the slave nodes which are called data nodes it uh, records the metadata of all the files stored in the cluster uh, uh, metadata includes the things like the location of the blocks stored for that particular file what is the size of that particular file what are the different access permissions if there are any kind of folder hierarchy all the information about that uh, block of data is kept with the name node <clears throat> and these metadata information are kept in the form of two files uh, one the first file is called the fs image uh, it contains the entire or complete state of the file system since the start of the name node so say you have created a new cluster and you have uh, started the name node process so since the beginning of the name node the complete state of that hdfs is maintained in the form of file called fs image and the another file which is uh, used by name node to keep metadata information is edit logs it contains all the recent modifications made to the file system so whatever is uh, whatever the changes you know different reads writes or deletes updates whatever are happening on the on the different files in the system uh, that all recent modifications are kept with the edit logs uh, next is name node records each change that take place into the file system whatever is happening into the file system all that is uh, tracked and that information is kept as a metadata uh, using the fs image and edit log file so these are the two files uh, in which we physically store the metadata uh, and another thing which happens is name node regularly receives heartbeats uh, from the data nodes which are the slave nodes which actually uh, have the data blocks and in that heartbeat all the data blocks sends the information about the block of data which they are storing that whether it is updated or deleted whatever in the form of block report is regularly sent to the name nodes this is this process called heartbeat process in the in the hdfs world uh, it keeps the records of all the blocks in the hdfs and also keeps a pointer information that which block which block is stored in stored on which slave node or on which data node uh, the process of replication is also taken care by the name node it identifies it identifies the right rack or the right data node where the replica replicas of a particular data block can be stored uh, if in case uh, if in case any particular slave node or data node is down then the data blocks which were stored on that failed uh, data node are copied to the newer system and this process is also facilitated through the name node so in a nutshell name node man, man, uh, manages the entire hdfs system and it makes sure that the entire system is up and running uh, it regularly checks the heartbeats and get the blog information to keep the to keep the metadata and the cluster health in check so guys now i understand what is data node and what are the different functionalities of data node data nodes as we have already discussed are the slave nodes these are the nodes where the actual data is stored name node only contains the information in the form of metadata but the actual data of the hdfs is stored in the data nodes uh, all the low level uh, tasks like reads and writes are done through the uh, through the data node uh, only the metadata information is accessed through name node but the reads and write nodes are not routed through name node so it's not that the route is taken from name node to do any kind of read and write yes the metadata information is supplemented through name node but the read and writes are directly happen or taken care by the name nodes itself 
name nodes as we have discussed uh, regularly sends heartbeat and block report information to the name node to keep the metadata information or to keep the status of the HDFS cluster in check with the name node. Guys, now there is a third daemon or third process apart from name node and data node in the HDFS world and this is called secondary name node. Uh, don't get confused by the name secondary name node. It doesn't mean that it's a backup for name node. No, it's not. Uh, on the other side, it's a helper process to the name node. Because many a times what happens to maintain the uh, metadata or the state of the system uh, in the form of FS image and relog log files, these files grow very large. So the whole processing of name node uh, starts getting slower. Uh, so to deal with this particular kind of issues, these files are uh, continuously uh, you can say taken by the secondary node and then it merges those two files and uh, updates the state of the system back to the name node so it helps name node in terms of keeping the current state up to date uh, with the name node so so primarily it's help name node to do the bulky or heavy task of maintaining the state of entire HDFS system. Let's try to understand secondary nodes functionality from this diagram. So secondary nodes uh, with a regular interval, which I think default size is around three seconds. Every three seconds it's query for edit logs to the name node. And then using those edit logs, it updates the FS image with edit logs. It merges two file to create the uh, to create the state of the system and these updated uh, or merge FS image file is copied back to the name node. So once it's copied back to the name node, name node would be aware, of, aware about the current state of the entire HDFS system. So this is where name node acts as an helper to the name node in terms of maintaining the entire state of the HDFS system. So guys, that's it in this particular video. We'll quickly reiterate when we'll, whenever we talk about the HDFS architecture, uh, there are three primary process or demons, uh, name node, data node, and secondary name node. Uh, name node is the master of the entire system. It manages the entire uh, uh, cluster of HDFS, uh, where to send the data blocks, how to take care of their application. It keeps where exactly a particular block is stored, uh, what is the name of that block, which file it belongs to, and all those metadata information is kept by name node. A name node makes sure that the data, uh, data nodes are uh, alive uh, by receiving the uh, heartbeat where all the data nodes sends, sends the block reports to the name node, uh, which helps it name node to identify that the data blocks are up and running. If in case it doesn't receive the heartbeat, it will uh, uh, assign those data blocks to the newer uh, data node in the system. And in a nutshell, the entire management of the HDFS network cluster is managed by the name node. Secondary name node, as we have discussed, the helper node to the, to, the, to the name node. And data nodes are the slave in the master slave topology of HDFS, where the actual data is stored. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.